Index reported a 44% reduction in HIV in gay men and transgender women. Uh, we wanted to set out uh, and see if it would work that well in the real world of our sexual health clinic service um, in, in England. So we thought we needed to do a study of, of 5,000. We set out to do a pilot to see if a design that we had created where you could compare PrEP to no PrEP in a randomized parallel time um, was, was actually possible. Now we created that situation by randomizing men to get PrEP straight away for two years or to get it uh, after the first year, only for the second year. So in year one, you could compare PrEP to no PrEP. And the first thing we found was that the rate of HIV infection uh, in the men who had no PrEP in that first year was higher than that three uh, 100 person years we expected, in fact, it was nearly three times as high. It was 8.9 uh, per 100 person years. And the second thing we found was that PrEP worked extremely well in that setting. The reduction in HIV was 86%. There were only three HIV infections in the men and PrEP in the immediate arm. We have reason to believe that none of them were probably taking PrEP at the time they actually caught HIV. So 86% reduction in the intention to treat um, analysis. We were concerned that, that men on Truvada may actually increase their risk of HIV by throwing the condoms away altogether. But based on the reported condom use, there was still a lot of condom use going on at month 12 in both groups, as we saw indeed at baseline. And people always say, well, the condom use is self-reported. Maybe you can't rely on that, but you can rely on the STIs. And when we looked at the rectal infections for gonorrhea and chlamydia, we saw no significant difference between these two groups. They were common in both groups. Over 30% had rectal gonorrhea or chlamydia, but there was no difference. So really, really effective reduction in HIV without any apparent change in the STIs between the groups. And the clinics were able to do this fairly easily. They saw men every three <coughs> months. It wasn't that difficult to add into routine practice. On the whole, almost all of these men were due a routine screen uh, at three months, every three months anyway, if not more frequently. We uh, design a, a study in which participants were asked to take their drugs, two pills, uh, before a sexual intercourse, meaning at least two hours, but could be uh, even before, uh, the 24 hours before sexual exposure, and then take two other pills after their sexual exposure, one uh, 24 hours after the first pill, and the second uh, 48 hours later. And um, what we were able to show in the study was um, actually the high uh, effectiveness of these strategies since the relative risk of HIV uh, infection uh, decreased by 86% uh, with on-demand TDF-FTC as compared to placebo, with the lower bound of the confidence interval being 40%. The median number of pills that participants were using during the study was actually 16 a month instead of 30 a month if they were on a daily regimen. That means that they were using on average four pills a week, and four pills is actually what we thought would be uh, desirable to cover one sexual intercourse. So that means that the participants had uh, an average of one sexual intercourse covered by PrEP during uh, their follow-up in the study. Uh, what I think interesting with on-demand PrEP is that the, the strategy is uh, in the hands of, of, the, of the people. And they can uh, decide whether or not to use PrEP, whether or not to use a condom of both or none. And, and actually, when we uh, interviewed them, uh, they uh, reported that uh, during the last sexual exposure, they uh, used PrEP only 70% of the time. And in 30% of the time, they didn't use PrEP because they didn't feel they, they, they would need PrEP. And um, I think this strategy um, is uh, an alternative then to daily PrEP. And it might be more attractive for people to, uh, to be on an intermittent regimen rather than on a daily regimen. And we, we think that this will extend um, options for people who want to uh, reduce their risk of HIV acquisition should they not want to use a condom.